these models, made by Hyundai Heavy Industries and presented to Lloyd's Register, represent two different types of ship designed to transport liquefied natural gas, known as LNG. Transporting natural gas in liquid form has huge advantages. When liquefied, the gas's volume is reduced by 600 times. It is also non-toxic, non-corrosive, non-flammable, non-explosive, odorless and colorless. And, if spilled, causes no damage to the marine environment. As a cleaner and low-carbon fossil fuel, liquefied natural gas has grown hugely in significance in the past 50 years, and its successful transportation by sea marks a crucial moment in maritime history. The transportation and handling of LNG is complicated and dangerous. The liquid must be transported at atmospheric pressure and at minus 163 degrees Celsius. It has only been made possible by successive generations of groundbreaking innovation. The Hyundai Technopia, built in 1999, represents the MOS spherical tank system, developed in Norway in the 1970s, in which spheres that contain the liquefied gas are entirely separate from the ship's hull. It is able to carry 137,415 cubic meters of liquefied natural gas. At the time, this was a phenomenal achievement. The first purpose-built LNG carrier was launched in 1958 and was able to carry just 5,000 cubic meters. The spheres are linked by a catwalk, providing access to inspect the tanks and carry out maintenance. Each dome has a vent mast to provide pressure relief. In the center of the ship are the cargo manifolds. Here, hoses are attached during loading and discharge. The larger cargo hoses contain the liquid gas and the smaller vapor return hoses balance the pressure. The crew work on the platform and the hoses are maneuvered into place by the crane above. Near the domes are small red boxes containing firefighting equipment. On the starboard side is the compressor room, where the equipment used to manage the cargo in its vapor form is located. A spare propeller is shown on deck. On the bow are a variety of winches and windlasses used in mooring and anchoring. The second ship was never actually built but represents an alternative design solution to carrying liquefied natural gas at sea. Developed in France in the late 1960s, in which the cargo is stored within the hull itself. The hull being protected by a membrane. The model has part of its hull cut away to show how the membrane is made of an incredibly thin, flexible stainless steel with rectangular sections that absorb the thermal contraction that happens when the cargo is loaded and the tank cools down. The membrane system requires a far lower superstructure, which means the ship is more aerodynamic. The use of the ship's hull itself to transport the cargo also makes the vessel more efficient in terms of its size. Here are the vent masts, cargo and vapor pipes used for loading and unloading the cargo. Both the membrane and MOS spherical tank design concepts have remained generally unchallenged since their invention and their safety has been repeatedly examined and confirmed by Lloyd's Register. These models therefore represent a moment of pride in the discovery of effective technological solutions to incredibly challenging engineering problems. Today, LNG carriers can transport as much as 266,000 meters cubed of cargo, very nearly twice the capacity of the models shown here, and 53 times the capacity of the first LNG carrier. The Hyundai Technopia is still in service, and ships like these play a crucial role in the movement of energy around the globe as we transition towards a carbon-free future.